Hello friends. Now moments. Moments are quantitative measures of the shape of the distributions. These are used to portray the characteristics of a distribution. For ungrouped data, the kth moment for ungrouped data, the kth moment about an arbitrary constant data A is as follows. So the moment is mu k 1 by n summation of x minus a to the power k where i is equal to 1 to n x i. Okay. Now where n is the number of data, a is a constant and x the value. Now for group data, the moments is like that. So for, for the group data, the moments is nothing but Okay. So here n is the number of classes. Fi is the frequency of each class and xi are the midpoint of the classes. Okay. Now two common types of moments are there. So first one is what? First one moments about 0. Moments about 0 where a is equal to 0 and second is moments about mean where a is equal to mean okay now here we will use the mu so mu is nothing but a moments about uh, it's a mean it's a population mean x by the sample mean now for ungrouped data we can see one by one all the comments so for ungrouped data for ungrouped data The moments are as follows. So first moment is mu1 dash is equal to 1 by n summation of x. Okay. So it is nothing but the mean mu. Okay. It is nothing but a mean. Now the second moment is 1 by n summation of x square. Third moment is 1 by n summation of x cube and fourth moment is 1 by n summation of x to the power 4 ok now when a is equal to mean then the moments are so first moment is 1 by n summation of x minus mu Second moment 1 by n summation of x minus mu square. Third moment is 1 by n summation of x minus mu to the power q. And fourth moment is 1 by n summation of x minus mu to the power 4. Okay, so here we have to exclude all the i values. Say here we have to write 1 to n. Okay, so in each and every. Now, uh, what is this? So, what is the, the value of this mu1? Mu1 always should be 0. Okay, so first property of the mean. So, already you know. Second one, what is this? This is nothing but sigma square. Okay, or it is called variance. Okay, and we use mu1, mu2. We use mu2, mu3, mu4 to calculate the skewness and two doses. So we use mu1, mu2, mu3 for the now moment ratios. What is moment ratio? Ratios. So two moment ratios are there. Moment ratios beta 1 and beta 2 so two moment ratios are there ratios in between the moments is called moment ratio through moment ratios we can measure the skewness and kurtosis of the distribution so first of all 
we should know what is beta 1 and what is beta 2. So what is beta 1? So beta 1 is nothing but mu 3 square by mu 2 cube. Okay. So mu 3 means what? This one. Mu 2 means this one. So mu 3 square by mu 2 to the power cube. Okay. So if so if beta 1 is equal to 0 then the distribution is symmetric. Okay, otherwise the distribution is skewed. We have one more parameter say gamma 1 which is nothing but square root of beta 1. Okay, so if beta 1 is 0, so if beta 1 is equal to 0, then the distribution is symmetric. If beta 1 is less than 0, it is negatively skewed. If beta 1 is greater than 0, it is positively skewed. Okay. Next, what is beta 2? So, beta 2, so moment ratio A first and moment second is moment ratio. So, beta 2 is nothing but mu 4 by mu 2 square. So, it is a measure of kurtosis and gamma 2 is beta 2 minus 3. So already you know if gamma 2 is equal to 0 it is mesocortic. If gamma 2 is less than 0 it is called tetracortic. Okay, so we will see one by one all the all the examples. So, if a data suppose okay, suppose data is one, two, eight, thirty, six, two, one. So mean is so mean is seven point one four two eight. So we have to calculate the mean. So the mean is 7.1428. So just calculate one by one. So mu1 always should be the 0. Okay. Mu2. Mu2 is what? 1 by n summation of x minus x bar square. So what is n? n is the number of data. So here it is 7 summation of x minus mean. Mean is what? 7.1428 square. And the answer is... 93.27 okay so the variance is 93.27 similarly we, have, we can calculate the mu3 mu3 is nothing but 1 by 7 x minus x bar q the answer is 1600.74 mu4 is 1 by 7 summation of x minus so mu all are mean 4 the answer is 39600.3 okay so these are mean now what is beta 1 so beta 1 is mu 3 square beta 1 is mu3 square by mu2 cube. So what is mu3? mu3 is 1600.74 square by mu2 to the power cube. mu2 is 93.27 to the power cube. The answer is beta1 is 3.158. Okay, 3.1585. And already you know, so if beta g, beta if beta one is equal to zero, it is zero. Otherwise, otherwise means what? If it is not equal to zero, then it is skewed. So obviously, it is skewed, so it is not zero. Next, we have to calculate the gamma one. So gamma one is what? Square root of beta one. So beta one is three point one five eight five. So 
तो कामा वन आंसर इज वन पॉइंट सेवन 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 टू सो ऑलरेडी यू नो इफ बीटा वन इज जीरो इट इज सिमेट्रिक लेस देन जीरो नेगेटिवली स्क्यूड ग्रेटर देन जीरो पॉजिटिवली स्क्यूड सो द गामा वन वैल्यू इज पॉजिटिव वैल्यू सो इट इज नथिंग बट अ पॉजिटिवली स्क्यूड वैल्यू सो डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सो दिस पर्टिकुलर डेटा सो एक्स डेटा इज पॉजिटिवली स्क्यूड डेटा बिकॉज गामा वन इज ग्रेटर देन जीरो सो द वैल्यू इज वन पॉइंट सेवन 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 टू ओके सिमिलरली वी कैन कैलकुलेट द बीटा टू सो द बीटा टू इज नथिंग बट म्यू फोर म्यू फोर मीन थ्री नाइन सिक्स जीरो जीरो पॉइंट थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय म्यू टू स्क्वायर म्यू टू मीन्स नाइन थ्री टू सेवन टू रिकॉर्ड क्यू एंड द आंसर इज फोर पॉइंट फाइव फाइव थ्री एंड व्हाट इज गामा टू फोर पॉइंट फाइव फाइव थ्री माइनस थ्री टू रिकॉर्ड वन पॉइंट फाइव फाइव टू फाइव so already you know if here the gamma 2 is more than 0 so it is left of root 2 okay so it is left of so the distribution of this particular data distribution of this particular data is left of root 2 now see what is ptosis so okay so what is ptosis now ptosis measures the degree of thickness it is used to show the degree of concentration around the mode value the degree of ptosis of a distribution is measured relative to the thickness of a normal curve so it is measured relative to the thickness okay of a normal curve so so assume it's a normal curve Okay, so better to take this side. Assume it's a normal curve. Now, the degree of ptosis of a distribution is measured relative to the thickness of a normal curve. So it is nothing but as a normal curve. Normal curve, and it is called mesocortic. Technical term is mesocortic. Okay. so it is called mesocortic now if the curve is more peaked than the normal curve so if the curve is more peaked than a normal curve suppose it is like that more peaked than a normal curve then it is called leptocortic it is called leptocortic Okay, L E P T O, lepto cortic, C U R T I C. And if the curve is less peaked or more flat tapped than the normal curve, it is called plateau cortic. So if it is less peaked than the normal curve, it is called plateau cortic. Okay, so it is called, it is called plateau cortic. Okay, so already you know how to measure. So to measure the ptosis, so we have to use beta two and gamma two. So if gamma two is zero, then it is normal curve. So here, if it is normal curve, in this case, gamma two is equal to zero. Okay, or or beta two is equal to three. Okay, so if beta two is equal to three or gamma two is equal to zero, then we can say it is nothing but mesocortic. It follows the normal curve property. Uh, if gamma 2 is more than 0 the curve is more peak than the normal curve it is called leptocortic so for leptocortic gamma 2 should be greater than 0 or beta 2 should be greater than 3 okay so if gamma 2 is more than 0 then it is called leptocortic and if we gamma 2 is less than 0 then it is called less than the normal curve or if gamma 2 is less than 0 then it is called plateau cortic okay so it is called and this ptosis okay so that is the end of this particular video thank you very